Hey, how you doing? Anthony here for another iPhone programming tutorial. <laughs> Today we're going to go over how to uh, populate a UI table view instance um, for your iPhone applications and we're going to be using Interface Builder for this. I had wanted to get this out earlier um, but when Apple first released um, Interface Builder support for the iPhone SDK which was in beta 2 I believe um, there was a problem with UI table views. What had happened was you would try to set the delegate for the table view, which is mandatory, and even though it was set in Interface Builder or in code, um, the debugger would return an error saying that the delegate was nil, and so uh, you couldn't use Interface Builder for table views. But that's been fixed um, in Beta 5, and I'm running Beta 5 right now, so uh, let's get started, and I'll show you how to do this. So I've got Xcode open here. And of course, we're going to start a new project. Um, I'm going to go with a raw Cocoa Touch application. Uh, this over here, Cocoa Touch List, this does not use Interface Builder. It actually uses something called a UI Table View Controller. A UI Table View Controller um, is meant to be subclass, and what, is it, what it does is um, it responds to the view method, and when asked for its view, it returns uh, a table view or the view of a table view that it itself uh, will draw out and the table view that it draws out um, it automatically sets that table views data source and delegate to itself and um, it's uh, actually quite organized and it does simplify things to an extent but I'd rather uh, show you how to do it in interface builder and so I'm going to go with this one right here the raw Cocoa Touch application and so let's create this I'm just going to name it table view test and so we've got the resource list right here uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the main window.zip file and if you didn't already know Apple did make it with beta 4 I believe and beta 5 obviously uh, so that the zip file main window.zip is automatically loaded and so now you don't have to do that yourself with uh, code alright so we've got the instances window here and um, first thing I want to point out is the UI window here is connected to the UI window outlet for the table view test at delegate class um, so that's automatically already connected for you and so anything you do to this window here in code will be done to this look, this window right here so um, <clears throat> we're not gonna put the table view in this window we're actually gonna put it in a UI navigation controllers view so you're gonna drag from uh, the UI navigation controller uh, or the library to the instance window and now we have a UI navigation controller here so if you double click on this you can see it shows you the view that the navigation controller does control and we are going to use this for two reasons one because a, a plain UI window does not account for the status bar so if you were to put a table view here it actually gets cut off at the top and two just because it looks nice uh, with the title and everything so I'm just gonna name this table view and so now we're going to drag UI table view instance um, into this view right here from the library. Uh, it automatically resizes nicely and you just drop it right in there. And so we've got to do a few things in Interface Builder before we get to our code. So the first thing we have to do is, um, if we were to run this right now, the, the UI window here would still be blank. And um, that's because we haven't yet connected the navigation view or the navigation controller to the window. There's no there's no reason for the window to display what's in the navigation controller because we haven't told it to do so. So with code we're basically going to output the navigation controller's view in the window but first we have to uh, provide an outlet for that to be done so we're going to go to the table view test app delegate um, instance and we're going to add an outlet for the navigation controller. So I'm just going to name it main nav controller and uh, change the type here UI navigation controller and now we had just uh, simply connect, so control drag from the instance to the navigation controller and connect. So now that's ready to go. And so now we've got to do uh, one more thing here, or two more things, depending on how you look at it. We've got to connect the table views uh, called data source and delegate. And I'll explain what data source is and how delegate is used. So just control drag from the table view to the table view test app delegate instance and connect the data source and do it again again, and connect the delegate and so now we're good with interface builder so now uh, let's go back to Xcode and write some code out 
So um, if you remember, just a minute ago, we made an outlet in Interface Builder for the navigation control. So now we've got to put that in our code. So I'm just going to add IB outlet, UI navigation controller, and the name was main nav controller. And so now let's actually make the connection in our code. So in the application did finish launching method, let's add open bracket window add sub view, and this will just plainly this is this method asks for a sub view to add uh, main nav controller view. So the view method will return the navigation controller's view, and the add sub view will add that view to itself and display it. So now that's connected. So now let's get to um, giving the UI table view something to display. All right. So first, we're going to set up um, a content array. So actually, we have to go back to the .h file, and we're going to make an instance variable called ns or called content array. It's going to be an ns array instance. So ns array content array, and in there, we're going to store the contents for our table to display. So now, right here, we're going to set that content array equals ns array. Notice two brackets here because we have to add something at the end. Array with objects first, second, third, and don't forget nil here, and then retain. Now the reason we have to add retain is because the NSArray's class method, array with objects, does return an NSArray instance, but it's uh, it's it becomes an auto release instance. So uh, at the end, or or as far as the code doesn't, re there's no connection between the code and the UI table view as far as the NSArray instance is concerned. So as soon as it's not being used by anything in this code here, it will uh, drop its retain count to zero and will be moved to the auto release pool and will be destroyed. So we have to add retain so that we can uh, keep it uh, basically intact for our UI table view. So now let's actually uh, give our table view something to display. So the first method we're going to have to implement here is uh, part of the UI table view data source protocol. And any subclass of NS object for the iPhone will um, implement or have outlines for the UI data source, UI table view data source protocol. So you don't have to uh, tell it to, you know, uh, basically copy methods from the data source protocol because it already is done for you in NS object. And um, so what, what we're going to do here is the first method, like I said, was going to be a data source method. So um, this method here is as follows. Uh, NS integer, it is an NS integer return type. Table view, UI tape, oh, sorry, UI table view, table view, um, number of rows in section, and then another, uh, it takes an int integer parameter section, and I'm just going to drop this down here so it's easier to read all together. All right, so this is, again, part of the data source protocol. This is table view, number of rows in section. So we set the UI table views data source to this instance, the table view test app delegate instance that we have running in Interface Builder. And because we set the table views data source to this, before it tries to draw 